Hi guys, welcome to the Savvy Money Show with me, your host Sean. Well, some people asked me if it was clickbait, me saying about uh, 2024 crash, and I'm here to answer that question. But before I do, don't forget to hit that like button, comment in the box below uh, on what you think and whether it's you think the crash is coming or not and even if you think it was clickbait drop a comment in help spread out of my videos and don't forget to subscribe I'm strongly considering whether or not it's worth uh, carrying on posting YouTube and whether to just stick with it TikTok. I don't want to be on one, just one platform. I want to spread it as wide as possible um, because YouTube was the original place I was posting on. But the response I've been getting recently hasn't been as good, and I realise that's probably my fault because of my attention. I haven't been marketing it properly. My attention has been diverted elsewhere. However, uh, drop me a comment if you think I should stay on here. The first clue is the VIX, volatility index. Now, it's 38 now, but it hit 58 yesterday. And I said how I sold. But the, you, if you look at it at all times, you go back at the peaks where it's been peaked this high before. And The other two highest peaks are during COVID and 2008 financial crisis. I always say when the VIX goes 15 or under, you should pick up some long-term options or unless the data suggests some shorter-term options. And uh, then uh, ride it till it's 30 because the VIX traditionally goes between 15 and 30 and if it just the hedge is a bit and then if it goes 13 and below I would add to it just because it's such good value Now, the fact that it went so high is the first indication, but we're going to look at why. Now, the first indication was Japan halted trading. First off, they halted sell orders, and then they've halted all kinds of trading as I said I apologize for the background noise I am outside I'm on the way to do something important so it's unavoidable but they started with halting sell orders and then they halted all, all trading and they still haven't opened it why not well because they are raising their rates for the first time since 1987. Oh. And, sorry about that, uh, dropping signal. They're raising their rates for the first time since 1987. Now think about that. 
you had you had uh, the halt in the 90s where for those of you who don't know in the 90s we had a thing called Tessa which was a prelude to Stocks and Shares ISA and it's uh, banks stopped doing it when we had the equivalent of a crash but if for instance you put 19,000 in it, it would have gone to 38,000 within the time frame say five seven ten years and then what happened was we had a mini crash where it all went back to 19,000 so people were complaining they may as well have put it in uh, cash ISA without the risk purely because as we know stocks run after a crash but the banks closed the accounts and created a new product to limit the downside for themselves now you had of course the corrections during that period and we, you had the financial crash and Covid they had plenty of opportunity to raise rates then but because of inflation because of the yen they wanted to keep borrowing alive they didn't want borrowing to go abroad this is this is a huge warning sign for now of course we had the jobs report and I'm thinking with the jobs report you have what people are not realising is it was more 4.25% uh, going to four, between 4.25 and 4.28 and they rounded up to 4.3 but still it was worse than expected now you go back a year and jobs and unemployment report were not as important however as I said in a bubbly market any little thing could knock it down because what's been happening over the last year is they've been looking for any excuse to divert your attention we've seen it with Nvidia we've seen it with Apple seen it with all the AI stocks where a company that doesn't deserve to go up unless they say they're using AI and it goes up and then we saw how Apple had declined in iPhone revenue which is what it bases most of its revenue on and then they say oh but we have an increase in services then they had a decline in services and then it's oh but we have a increase in Mac or, or an increase in iPad revenue and they're using all these to bump up their investment and share price it, or at least sustain it in the short term because remember these directors and CEOs, CFOs they get paid in shares and their bonuses depends on the share price so they they're there to pump the stock 
and maintain guidelines. And I just do not understand why people have not seen it. It's so bubbly. When I've been calling it out for the last three months. Granted, if you kept hold of these for the last three months, anything you've had wiped off your stock, you've, you've had in gain for holding for the last three months. But, bear in mind, I haven't been 100% cash. I've, I've taken the money and I've been trading instead. I, I am an incredibly good trader, but I do not like to re rely on trading alone. Anyway, let me know what you guys think and I'll see you in the next video.